One of the most often asked questions at mainline bait is how to look after and ensure the longevity of freezer bait. And the first thing I'm going to mention is ensure that as soon as you've bought that from a shop, you get it into your freezer and keep it there until you need it. When you get it out of the freezer, don't defrost it in the bag that it comes in. And the ideal way of doing it is to get yourself a purpose-made air dry bag. Uh, this ensures that the transfer of air around the boil is, uh, it, it is constant and takes the moisture out of them. So the first thing you need to do is open up the resealable bag and deposit the boilies into the air dry bag. Don't stuff them in there. You only want to fill this up absolute maximum about halfway and that ensures that the air can get around and get to every individual bait. There's one other thing that I do. A lot of people put rice in with their, uh, with their boilers to help draw out the moisture. Uh, and some people use pellets, but I don't want my boilers smelling of some dirty old trout pellet. And we're very lucky that we have the hybrid pellet that comes and corresponds with the flavours of the boilers that we're using. There's a kilo of hybrid boilers in here, and this is a packet of hybrid response pellets. And all I'm going to do just put about a quarter of a packet in there. That's all you need, that's enough. Give them a shake up uh, and you're good to go. The next thing I do is seal the bag up and it's gonna go outside. It's probably the best place to do it and it's gonna be in sunshine if you can. Uh, the great British weather always doesn't afford that, but make sure it's out, the wind can get to it and the air can get around it. If you're putting it outside, make sure the magpies can't get to it and don't put them on the floor either because rats and other things can get to them as well. Uh, so you're protecting it and leaving it outside. 48 hours is probably the length of time I want to leave them there to ensure that I've taken all the moisture out of the boilies. I just need zipping up and leaving, but you need to watch them and move them around from time to time to, to make sure that the air gets to every single one of them. Now, once you've done that, you can guarantee that those are gonna last for four to six weeks. Um, and that's an absolute minimum if you, if you do it properly. I've got boilies with me today that I've been using here at Raysbury uh, that have been out of the freezer for well over a week now. Uh, I air dried them in the method that I've explained uh, and they'll go on for a few weeks more and it hasn't stopped me catching any carp.